everybody, Jaws Jr. here. I've got a new adventure for you. Something that I haven't done for the channel before. Although in the past I have reviewed air rifle pellets. I've reviewed two of them. But I have never talked about an air rifle in particular. Now I do have one that I use on a regular basis. It is the Benjamin Discovery. 177 caliber. And I use that one quite a bit. I mean, it's it's fun. I have a lot of fun with it. But there's a new one that came out by Benjamin that got my inter that got my attention. So I went ahead and ordered that months ago, and it's been on back order since then. So it finally came in. And what this video is is going to be the unboxing of it, the initial reaction that I have of it, as well as uh, the first few shots fired through it. So sit back, enjoy. Uh, I'm no expert on these things, but it's going to be something that's going to be a lot of fun. So sit back, enjoy. Watch what we uh, pull out of the box, and uh, watch us watch our initial, my initial first reaction of this. So sit back, enjoy, and we'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, everybody, I'm back. It's time to get into this thing. Looking forward to this. I've been waiting for quite some time to do this. Now, I bought this as a package unit from Pyramid Air, so uh, there's going to be hopefully some other stuff in this. Ah, uh, yes, there is. Of course, a target. That'll be another day. Here is the rifle itself. And those are pellets and a 4x32 Varmint Predator Hunting Scope from UTG. So this will go on it another day, but it's not going to go on there now. And also three uh, magazines for it. And that is it. We're going to get into the main box here right real soon. Okay, everybody, I am back. So let's get into this thing. Looking forward to doing this. So there's the box for it. As you can see, it's just a Benjamin Wildfire, as I told you before. I'm going to get into this thing. Of course, they use staples on it instead of tape. And here we go. Look at the bottom of it. You can pull out the cartridge magazine, the, the magazine right here. You've got the gauge. And basically this is, from, from the first feel of it, it is plastic. Even the sight mount on top up here is, is plastic. But this is based off of the uh, Crossman 1077 uh, CO2 gun. So this is just basically a, what I feel off of this thing compared to the Benjamin Discovery. This could be more of a plinker. Uh, something that's going to be able to just to go out and shoot. It's not going to be too much of an accurate one. So uh, I like the sight on it though. I do like that sight. That looks pretty good. And overall, it goes up to the shoulder really good. The sight on it's very clear through the rear sight. So for shooting an open sight, I think this one might be okay. But it feels plastic. I mean, it, it is plastic. The top rail up here, I'm kind of disappointed in that with it being plastic. Um, but again, it is a $150 gun. So, well, well, you can't expect too much with that. So there you go. We'll go ahead and get this set up on a stand here for you. And we'll do a close-up on it and so you can look at it very closely.
Okay, this here has got an interesting feature with it with this barrel latch. This has to be back in the in the back position in order to fire. Now when you look inside, I will slide it if I can and then I'll slide it back. And what that does is it helps you to be able to clear a pellet if you have a pellet that jams from the magazine. Okay everybody, also too, this is a light gun. So I'll put a zip tie on it, and there you go. They say it's about 3.7 pounds. So I got a little bit of an extra gun here by, by a tenth of a pound. By an ounce, actually. But it says 3.7 ounces there, so yeah, it is a light gun unloaded. There's the, there's the extra ounce I was missing. Okay, everybody, we've gone through this very, fairly thoroughly. Uh, safety checked it, made sure everything worked out right, okay. It's holding air, got it pressured up to 2,000 PSI. That's all this, this holds, by the way, is a 2,000 PSI gun. So with the, um, let me grab this here. With a properly functioning hand pump, you probably have that thing pumped up in, in just over a minute. Very easy, to, very easy to do. So, and with it being only PS, uh, 2,000 psi, that's something a kid can do. And if you happen to have the tanks for this thing, it's not going to take too much air out of your tank. You can use your tank for your higher pressure 3,000 psi guns. And once it gets down to the 3,000 psi, you can use that tank down to 2,000 psi on this thing. So it's a win-win for everything. So uh, we're going to push the table aside a little bit. And I've got a target here set up. And again, yes, we're indoors. Uh, I've shot here before indoors. We have a steel plate set up in the back. And we've got a kind of a modified lead catch set up. But we're just going to... Uh, I'm going to run a full 12 rounds through this and then let you know what I think of it. So sit back watch me shoot this thing. We're going to have fun with it. Okay, everybody, here we are. We're just only shooting a few yards here just for the familiarization of it. So the rounds are loaded, putting it in, and it's on fire. So here we go. We're just going to see what, ha what happens. Okay. Might be one more in it. Okay. Yep, she's empty, went through all the rounds. The trigger pull is terrible. After so after those rounds, there is our pressure. So we will see how it goes. Initially, it feels awfully cheap, but it's a $150 gun. The trigger pull is absolutely horrible. I can feel me wanting to pull off to the right with this thing every shot. Every shot I got up here with it, pulling on it, it, it goes okay. Then the, the last bit, right when it's ready to, to fire, it just doesn't feel right. But again, I think at 20 yards with those t with those metal targets and a plinker and put a put that scope on it that came with this, I think it'd be fun. Um, the trigger, I'm not a fan of the trigger. I'll be honest with you with that. The the trigger is not very comfortable to shoot. But again, it's a hundred twenty dollar it's a hundred fifty dollar gun, and I think I'm going to have a lot of fun shooting this thing. Just taking it out in the brush and shooting it shooting with my buddies and having a good time with it. So. We're going to uh, come back and do some more reviews here with it later on. So hang tight. Okay, everybody, what we're going to do is we're going to do a sound test of this thing so you know what it sounds like and make, let you make your own determination.
Okay, that thing sounds like a staple gun in there. It is just not the great greatest. Okay, everybody. Well, there's my review of uh, the Benjamin Wildfire. I'll be honest. I am highly disappointed in the trigger. That trigger is terrible. Other than that, I think this thing has got enough power to kill squirrels. And I don't know the shot pattern. We haven't didn't test any of that. We didn't look at a, at a crone with it, with, uh, so we don't know what the speeds are. So there's going to be another video coming out before, on an additional review of this after we have it all set up. But you know, if you want a $150 blinker, this is good. I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Despite the trigger, I'm going to go out and I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. So there we go, everybody. I think you're going to have a, a great time with this. So for now, just remember, everybody, Everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine, even with a trick with a crappy trigger. This is the adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya!